Few interesting characteristics of sedimentary rocks. Characteristic number one. I am talking about continents now. 75% of continents are made up of sedimentary rocks. So, they are most abundant rocks on the surface of the continents. Second thing, now we saw that a river is flowing, it carries soil, that soil gets compacted and a rock is formed. But soil is formed from what? From the first rock called as igneous rock. So, first igneous rocks are formed, they break down to form soil, soil gets compacted to form rock called as sedimentary rock. So, sedimentary rock is in this way formed after primary rocks, therefore they are secondary rocks. Of course, igneous rocks are primary rocks. Now, they are called secondary as they are derived from denudation breaking down of pre-existing rocks, the rocks which were already present, those rocks got broken down and ultimately the soil is formed. Now, as I told you, these rocks are found in different layers. You can see here one layer, second layer, third layer, fourth layer and here are so many layers are seen. Therefore, we call them as stratified rocks. Now, because there are layers, definitely some dead animal or some plant will definitely get trapped inside. Suppose this is a fish getting trapped inside this soil and it gets buried and over this hundreds of layers of soil gets collected. So, under the pressure of this one, the impression of this fish will be formed on the rock or its uh, uh, bones can also be found. When we find them later on, we call them by the name fossil. Now, we can classify them on the basis of their origin, on the basis of sediment and also on the basis of their composition. Now, what is that? That will come in next part, dear students. Okay. Now, look at this. Can you identify this? What it is? Yes, it is a fossil. Now, some animal student which got buried under the soil. Okay. And when its impression is formed here. Okay. Then, we call it by the name fossil. What is the use of fossil? Fossils give us what could have been the life millions of years ago. You must be knowing that scientists say that dinosaurs were so huge and they were living here and there. How do they know the dinosaurs were very huge? So, if they find the teeth itself of so big in size, teeth, then this thing that are if the teeth is so big, then how massive must be the animal. And when do we find such a teeth? They are found inside the sedimentary rocks. So, in this way, sedimentary rocks give us a very wonderful information about prehistoric world. You see here also, so many dead bodies are found, okay, in a form of a fossil. Look at this another stratified rock, okay? And you can find they are of different colors, dear student. Okay, now, lower the layer, older the layer, older. As you go below, older and older. So, suppose I find here first animal, here I find second animal, here I find third animal and these animals are formed millions of years ago. So, suppose the first one is found at the bottom, so, we suppose say, yeah, it was 10 million year old. So, the next one must be now then approximately 9 million old. So, what could have been the life form 10 million year old, 9 million years before or 8 million years before? How do we know? 
सो डीपर यू गो इन सेडिमेंटरी रॉक्स ओल्डर द एनिमल्स बॉडी फाउंड ओवर देयर नाउ लुक एट दिस एब्सोल्युटली ह्यूज साइज नाउ सी दिस बोन्स सो ह्यूज इन साइज लुक एट दिस फीमर बोन सो ह्यूज इन साइज ओके नाउ वी फाइंड देम एंड देन वी गेट टू नो दैट व्हाट वुड हैव बीन द एप्रोक्सिमेट साइज ऑफ दिस एनिमल okay look at its tail okay look at the tail bones over here look at the femur bone okay look at the uh, hooves of this animal so in this way dear student we get to know about the ancient world because of the fossils and fossils are found in the rock so in this way rocks give us so much information about the past what must have been the life in the past we get to know thanks to these sedimentary rocks dear student now have you heard the name rock salt okay look at this rock salt okay it is also called as uh, ayurvedic salt original salt okay that is uh, unprocessed and it is originally naturally occurring salt it is formed in dead sea when water gets evaporated the crystals which remain behind is rock salt we find this rock salt in maharashtra uh, not maharashtra in rajasthan also there is a lake called sambar lake and near the sambar lake you find huge quantity of rock salt rock salt is used in medicines also used in food processing look at this this is actual photograph of the rajasthan's sambar lake area where this salt is formed okay see the huge railway line that is indicating that the amount of salt formation here is very very high gypsum is name of another rock dear student now how it is formed it is formed when form evaporation of salt lake now this is one of the lake dear student okay now when the water got evap now see a huge rock is found here so in the past even this entire region was under water but now over the period of time this rock has started formed so how it is getting formed here students the simple reason is when this water from here got evaporated leaving behind this and in this way gypsum is formed this gypsum is useful in making cement dear student very important cement is formed using gypsum now potash it is used for making fertilizers okay detergents ceramics so many of the articles now let us look at now organically formed sedimentary rocks the ones that we just now saw they were formed by physical processes okay so physically formed sedimentary rocks now we are going to look at organically formed sedimentary rocks now dear students you must have imagined or recognize that this is a shell of animal you are right now what happens when the shells are deposited those shells break down over the period of time or many shells together get compacted because of the high pressure of water from the top layer resulting into their formation now why we are calling them by the name organically formed because here a fish called as coral or a shell fish shell fish now look at the shell of this animal now these shells are formed by these living creatures okay shells i am talking about and in this way the shells are live formed by living things something formed by living thing is organic thing therefore these are organically formed sedimentary rocks corals shell fish okay their fleshy part gets decomposed but the shell remains and from that shell these rocks are formed one of the most sim ex simple example of that one is limestone 
Now, I don't know whether you have seen, but some people eat pan and while making that pan, they apply whitish color material on pan that is made up of limestone, dear student. This limestone is also used for whitewashing the houses. By poor people, they use it as like a paint. Chalk, now you look at this, this uh, rock, dear student, called as chalk, okay? These are examples of organically formed sedimentary rocks. Now, the most famous example of this sedimentary rock which is organically formed is coal. Now, I am very sure you must have heard that millions of years ago, plants and animals got buried under the surface of the earth. When they got buried, dear student, okay, now suppose this is plant, okay, an animal which got buried. So, from the top, there must be the pressure of the land. Now, because they got buried below the earth surface, below the earth surface, there must be lot of heat. So, due to pressure and heat, the body of these plants and animals got converted into coal. This is what the theory says. Famous examples of uh, coal are actually types, I should say. Anthracite, bituminous, lignite and peat. Among these four coals, the best coal is anthracite. Second best is bituminous and our country India is blessed with huge amount of bituminous type of rock. Now, these rocks which are organically formed are also called as carbonaceous rocks. Another famous example is petroleum. Can you believe this? That petrol that you use today was once upon a time plant or animal? Yes, this is what the theory says. Plants, animals, microorganisms, everything get buried under the, under what? Earth surface or maybe under the water present in the oceans, okay? And here, deep inside this petroleum is formed. So, next time when you look at petrol or diesel, next time, remember once upon a time, it was microorganism or plant or animal that now got converted into petroleum okay now by the way here is coal formation this is coal again you can see here what you will call it correct it is a strata what is a strata strata means a layer so in this way sedimentary rocks are found in a layer because coal is also an example of sedimentary rock it is also found in layers now, another example is mechanically formed sedimentary rock, mechanically. Mechanically means by physical process, by external processes. Very, very famous mechanically formed sedimentary rock that you see here, while traveling you must have seen on the roadside, dear student, it is called sandstone. Okay, this is sandstone. Now, conglomerate is very interesting. You must have seen many stones, pebbles lying near a river. Okay. What happens that over a period of time, these small stones get accumulated with cementing material in between them. That cementing material is basically gypsum and lime. And over a period of time, because of the pressure exerted by the water that is moving on top of it, all these small pebbles, see them, they got compacted, they got stuck to one another, forming into a rock called as conglomerate. Conglomerate is a name of a rock, dear student, okay? This is an example of conglomerate type of sedimentary rock. Now, silt stone. What is silt? 
silt is the material brought by the river which is basically sand and soil now suppose this is river okay and uh, suppose this is river okay now if i keep on moving below this is the bottom of the river where this sand soil gets collected now here is pressure of water being exerted on what on this silt so this silt just like conglomerate rock get stuck to one another actually see this picture okay this is where the soil got stuck to one another forming a rock called as silt rock now they are coarser means quite rough to the touch compared to mud but they are comparatively soft type of rocks now look here mud stone have you heard the name mud correct you must have heard so what happens it is the most common type of sedimentary rocks which is ultimately formed by the solidification of the mud mud over the period of millions of years now see this mud dear student can you believe this it has got stuck to one another and the rock now formed here is called as mud stone another name given to this mud stone rock is shale okay so you either call it shale or you call it mud stone this is silt stone formed by the silt okay this is formed from the mud there therefore this is mud stone now this is coal a type of sedimentary rock please remember coal is absolutely important especially in india because 70% of our electricity dear student in india comes from coal we can also use it as a domestic fuel coal is also used in many chemical industries also for making explosives okay also for making glass it is also used in iron and steel industry this is why coal is so important so important in fact coal is called as mother of industries and iron ore is called as father of industries in simple words if there is no coal in india industrialization will suffer very very badly now general characteristics of sedimentary rocks general okay now you see here again they are found in layers correct see so many layers are there so they are formed from pre existing rocks the rocks which were already present those rocks got broken down ultimately turn into a new rock we are calling it by the sedimentary rock they are stratified what is stratified correct it means they are formed in layers these rocks are permeable and porous that means water can percolate through them water can get sipped through them and fossils are found in them these are very important characteristics of sedimentary rocks dear students now we have come to the next type of rock called as metamorphic rock now imagine this is the surface of the earth now this is crust this is also crust but they are away from each other we call them by the name plates now suppose this is one plate this is another plate and they are moving towards each other so one of the plates get buried inside the other plate now on this plate if there are many rocks they also get buried along with the plate below another layer now once they get buried under here is extremely great 
हाईली हीटेड मैगमा हैविंग टेम्परेचर ऑफ मोर देन 1000 थाउजेंड डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड अब दिस लेयर ना वॉट इज देयर अनदर प्लेट तो वन प्लेट सेकंड प्लेट सेकंड प्लेट इज ग्रेट बरीड अंडर वन प्लेट तो द प्लेट नंबर वन इज गोइंग टू एक्सर्ट प्रेशर ऑन इट एंड ऑन द सेकंड नाउ दिस सेकंड लेयर फ्रॉम बिलो देर इज ट्रिमेंडस अमाउंट ऑफ हीट सो हीट एंड प्रेशर टूगेदर will melt many of the minerals present in the rock which will get reorganized which will get chemically combined with other minerals and a new rock is formed such a new rock is called as metamorphic rock now a sedimentary rock getting buried getting converted to metamorphic rock maybe igneous rock also getting buried turning into metamorphic rock so that means metamorphic rocks are formed either from sedimentary or from igneous rocks okay now look at this picture earth surface now here is one of the layer of the rocks dear student the pressure from top and heat from bottom will convert them into metamorphic rock again you can see this picture upper layer of the earth surface and this lower magma will convert this layer of the rocks into new type of rocks we will call them by the name metamorphic rocks correct now they are formed by what alteration alteration means change that occur because of two things what are they high temperature great pressure or because of both the temperature and pressure and during this time what is going to happen the original rock will get converted into new rock now metamorphic rocks have their minerals arranged in series of band series of band that means series of different colors and layers this process is called as foliation please remember when minerals get arranged in series this process is called as foliation look at these layers of sedimentary rocks now i hope you must have heard the name granite yes i did show you example of granite now this is original granite dear student this granite has got converted into new rock name of this rock is gneiss here g is a silent to so, gneiss is a sedimentary rock formed from granite rock to so, granite is original rock which is igneous type of rock whereas gneiss is metamorphic rock okay now look at this limestone okay which i told you about some time back because of metamorphism gets converted into marble marble is that very beautiful rock used for making taj mahal hai na taj mahal building is made out of marble so marble is a very precious rock it is a metamorphic type of rock shale mud stone we saw some time back gets converted into slate slate is actual slate dear student on which uh, during olden days people used to write okay now sandstone getting converted to quartzite now this is slate rock okay actual slate this is a shale now shale getting converted into what slate then coal into graphite granite into gneiss and basalt rock into schist okay now please remember this is to be remembered that which rock gets converted into which type of rock okay coal into graphite shale into what slate and so on now this rock that you see here is schist initially i showed you photograph of basalt rock where this river was flowing that basalt has got converted into schist basalt is igneous rock 
शिस्ट इज मेटामॉर्फिक रॉक ग्रेफाइट मेटामॉर्फिक रॉक फॉर्म फ्रॉम वॉट फॉर्म फ्रॉम द कोल कोल इज वॉट इट इज अ सेडिमेंटरी रॉक सो सेडिमेंटरी रॉक टर्निंग इन टू ग्रेफाइट इग्नियस रॉक टर्निंग इन टू मेटामॉर्फिक नाउ लुक एट दिस दिस फ्लोरिंग ओके इज मेड आउट ऑफ शिस्ट लुक एट दिस फ्लोर ऑफ द हाउस फॉर मेकिंग दिस फ्लोरिंग वी आर यूजिंग शिस्ट ओके ग्रेफाइट इज यूज नाउ लुक एट दिस दिस पेंसिल टिप्स दे आर मेड अप ऑफ ग्रेफाइट ओके सो नेक्स्ट टाइम एन यू लुक एट अ पेंसिल एंड अ टिप प्लीज रिमेम्बर यू आर यूजिंग अ रॉक डियर स्टूडेंट for writing and what is the name of that rock graphite and graphite is what metamorphic from where it is formed from the coal okay now those who live in bangalore now bangalore is called as bangaluru this is a very famous temple over there one of the very famous park this rock dear student that you see here is nis okay rock garden is there in bangalore there this 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 uh, stone is called as nis now as i told you magma is superheated lava uh, this uh, this this lava or this magma here now below the earth surface lava is called as magma which is having very high temperature and here this rock dear student is subjected to this very very high temperature and therefore here its chemical composition is changing and this rock is your metamorphic rock the book says that this metamorphic rock is of following types first one is called thermal metamorphism when we use the word thermal that means which is formed because of heat okay thermal metamorphism most famous example is graphite type of rock another one is called as dynamic metamorphism now what is dynamic metamorphism now dear students it is caused because of very high pressure now look at first layer second layer third layer fourth layer here very much below you find gneiss which is formed from basalt rock now because of the excessive pressure from top the chemical composition of the gneiss will change and that the rock which is buried there is will change and it will turn into gneiss this is an example of dynamic metamorphism please remember dynamic is related to the pressure applied by the top layer then we have regional type of metamorphism which is caused by the large scale movement like mountain building movement now dear students we have already studied four type of mountains when the crustal plates are dashed into one another that results into formation of a mountain over there and during that process in that region some rocks are formed which are called as these rocks belong to the category of regional metamorphism okay so wherever this uh, um, plates are colliding or wherever the folding and faulting is occurring there these rocks will be formed example of this regional metamorphism is shale turning into slate now what are the characteristics of metamorphic rocks characteristic number 1 they are either formed from igneous rocks or sedimentary rocks that is first characteristic second why are they formed either by heat or because of pressure or because of both heat and pressure third important point they are highly resistant to erosion it means very easily they cannot be eroded highly resistance to erosion and because they are very strong very firm we use them in building material now this taj mahal was formed 350 years ago still very solid strong why 
very very resistant to erosion dear students marble especially is impervious but some of them like gneiss are pervious okay so few metamorphic rocks are pervious that means they allow the percolation of water but some of them are impervious which don't allow the percolation of water okay students now interesting look at this carefully suppose this is the surface of the earth this is a plate suppose here is another plate sometime back i told you one plate and another plate may collide or one goes below the other plate now what can happen students suppose below this plate here is magma this magma rises up in a form of volcanic eruption and here igneous rocks are formed okay now when the rainfall will occur these igneous rocks will start getting broken into small 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 pieces forming silt we have already studied this silt will get deposited layer above layer above layer and from here what will formed a sedimentary rock will be formed so now here you will find both igneous and sedimentary rock and suppose now this plate gets buried under what under the another plate so here now because of magma effect this will turn into metamorphic rock now dear students this metamorphic rock may be seen above the earth surface and now let us say after millions of years this entire plate get buried under another plate now imagine this that here is magma imagine okay here is the above layers this one of the layer gets buried under this because of the tectonic movement and when this layer will get buried what will happen here this all rocks will again melt and once they melt they will turn into magma and this magma will somehow after some time erupt come out in a form of lava what will happen to lava now it will solidify it will turn into igneous rock igneous rocks will ultimately break turn into sedimentary rock sedimentary and igneous rock will ultimately turn into metamorphic rock and when everything gets again buried turn into magma and again comes out so in this way the process goes on and on so it begins with magma ultimately becomes magma therefore it is it is rock cycle rock cycle started with magma coming out becoming what igneous rock igneous to sedimentary sedimentary and igneous to metamorphic everything again come out in a form of lava and again become yes igneous rock so in this way the rock cycle is completed this cycling journey is termed as rock cycle okay so look at this igneous rock turning into small pieces sedimentary rock uh, these sedimentary rocks okay and uh, igneous rock ultimately turn into metamorphic rock then either igneous rock or sedimentary rock or metamorphic rock all of them turn into magma this magma erupts and again forming igneous rock so the process is completed this cyclic journey is called as rock cycle okay this is called as rock cycle dear students now while describing we have to remember that magma is located beneath the earth's crust that ejects and turn into igneous rocks second important thing solidified igneous rock are the ancestors of all other rocks the most abundant rock found everywhere on the earth including continents and in ocean everywhere is igneous rock 
सो इग्नियस रॉक्स आर एट्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द अर्थ इज कवर्ड विथ इग्नियस रॉक सेडिमेंट आर डिपॉजिटेड गेट सॉलिडिफाइड टर्न इन टू सेडिमेंट्री रॉक विच अल्टीमेटली बिकम मेटामॉर्फिक रॉक दिस जर्नी विच आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू इज कॉल्ड एज रॉक साइकल ओके नाउ स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज रिमेंबर मैग्मा बिकमिंग इग्नियस रॉक आउटसाइड द अर्थ सर्फेस एक्सप्रेसिव इन साइड द अर्थ सर्फेस इग्नियस बोथ ऑफ देम कम आउट और मे टर्न इन टू सेडिमेंट्री रॉक sedimentary rock turn to metamorphic rock and the process is again continue this is another photograph for for rock cycle finally what is the importance of rocks dear students first one i already told you if there is no rock there won't be a soil if there is no soil there won't be crops if there are no crops there won't be any food and if there is no food everything on earth surface will come to an end i am talking about all the living things will die it means if life is present on earth thanks to the soil which is formed from rocks second thing rocks are also the storehouse of many minerals sometime back we saw that in igneous rocks very important minerals like gold iron copper aluminium silver so many of them are formed so therefore rock which contain high concentration of minerals is called as ores please remember iron ore what is iron ore it is nothing but a high concentration of a mineral which mineral iron and oxygen together we call it by the name iron ore now sedimentary rocks very very important because we find fossils in them sedimentary rock like coal is a energy resource sedimentary rock which ultimately are sources of natural gas petroleum they are also absolutely important energy resources at present on earth we use rocks for what building stones are used for making buildings if you have seen forts especially if you go to red fort in delhi made out of red color rock okay similarly that's why the name itself is red in maharashtra many forts of great shivaji maharaj are made up of basalt rock old buildings if you see are also made up of basalt rock basically rocks are used for construction purpose we also use them for making roads also for dams also for making railway tracks limestone gypsum useful for making cement which is again useful for making buildings and we obtain these many precious metals from them not only metals dear student but we also obtain diamonds many times in coal mines diamonds are found which are absolutely precious very very costly okay so in this way when you look at this we find oh rocks are really so very important okay dear students now i believe i hope that you must have realized that wow rocks are so useful to us and a little bit difficult part here is to remember the name of the rock and the uh, chemical composition or maybe the original rock and which one is a new one formed but if you read this repeatedly you will be very much confident about writing the examples as well as answers to them may god bless you dear student abundantly Thank you very much thank you